Every Friday, we go in depth with the Target 12 investigators, and Tim White joins me in studio now. Tim, two updates from this week. First, we're hearing from the longtime girlfriend of a man who was killed in Little Compton yep. last fall. Right, uh, and people may remember this story, Kate. There were a lot of questions surrounding the death of Stephen Velozo at a party in Little Compton last October. As you may recall, his death was ruled a homicide by the medical examiner's office. Now, Christine Stanley and Velazzo dated for 17 years. She was at the party and only feet away from him when he was killed. Our reporting shows that all witnesses agree that Velazzo had too much to drink and confronted someone at the party. That's when several people restrained him, but Stanley and another witness say Velazzo Lazo was put in a chokehold with an arm wrapped around his neck while a police report quoted a witness describing it as a bear hug. The attorney general presented this case to a grand jury which declined to charge anyone. Stanley testified before the grand jury about what she saw. It wasn't a good feeling. I walked out of there feeling like it just wasn't. I almost felt like Steve was the one that was being prosecuted. I lost all hope in the justice system because I didn't think it was possible for somebody to kill somebody without getting repercussions from it. Oh, so do we know why the grand jury declined to file any charges? You know, Kate, it's tough because, as you know, grand jury proceedings are secret. Even the AG can't say what happened behind closed doors if no charges come from it. But through a records request to Little Compton Police, Target 12 obtained witness statements to detectives, and Stanley shared her experience, as you heard, testifying before the grand jury. She tells us prosecutors focused a lot on how much Velazzo had to drink that night, but she points out there were a lot of people drinking at the party. It is important important to remember that a grand jury is looking to see if there's enough evidence to establish probable cause that a crime occurred. In this case, it's safe to say the grand jury didn't feel like enough evidence was presented to support that charge. All right, so finally, Tim, an update on a case Target 12 has been tracking. A Providence man accused of running a fentanyl drug ring mm. is in plea negotiations now with federal prosecutors. Yeah, his name is Jazz Drool Perez, who goes by Josh. He's been in custody since his arrest last year. Now, this case came on our radar uh, screen because the defense defendant is the nephew of Providence Police Colonel Oscar Perez, as well as Sergeant Andre Perez, who has worked drug cases. There is a parallel FBI investigation into whether the defendant, Josh Perez, received special treatment from the police department. Colonel Perez has told me his nephew was not helped in any way by Providence PD. But the plea deal talks with federal prosecutors is a significant update in the criminal case. We should know a lot more later this summer. The next pretrial hearing is scheduled for July 26th. This case is being handled at a Boston federal court. All right, Tim's full investigation on both the Little Compton homicide and the drug case are on the Target 12 page on WPRI.com. Tim White, thank you. Thank you.